The countdown is on for 24 fans. Stop the attacks, all will be forgiven. No going back for me. Gotta get out of here. This is bigger than President Hillary. We're planning a full-scale attack. That's right, the hit show is living another day and returning to Fox for a special 12-week series. So get ready for Jack Bauer and Chloe to return to your living room. But first, star Mary Lynn Rice Cub is here on the HuffPost Live couch to give us a preview. Joel was, you know, the creator of it, a really strong force, um, amazing showrunner. Like, that's what you want is sort of that. And he wasn't, he wasn't the singular voice originally, but a, but a really strong at the helm. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, uh, very outspoken Republican. But the cool thing is that the other writers all have varying degrees of different political views that kind of fed into the show. So, you know, 24 has always had the um, spectrum of mm -hmm. really w right wing, really left wing mm -hmm. artists, non artists, people, you know, people of all different walks of life. So, and the themes themselves. And the themes themselves. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's what's been really special about the show. Even worldwide, you know, I get tweets I mean, from people. All over. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, and even in the, in the lead up right now, I know that everyone's talking about it. Yeah. I mean, and you know, it, there's, there's so much to talk about. I'm curious though, for you. I mean, it definitely, it obviously leans towards a really, uh, sometimes it, you, you could say it skews it, towards. Republicans? Or, or, or uh, Patri 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 patriotic, patriotic of. Uh, right. We're gonna fight for what's right, but I mean that also is a universal theme of having the hero that you know everybody watches it. I think and probably wishes they were mm -hmm. Jack Bauer a bit. And of course, the other scene that everybody always brings up right. to me is when uh, Edgar died of nerve gas. Um, that was really terrible because I mean I know it's it's acting, but it's really intense. You know, I gotta go behind the glass and it shuts and I'm in the safe room and I'm watching all these people <laughs> drop dead. And then my friend, you're just like watching your friend uh, die. That was- I love that you're like, I'm watching all these people drop dead and you're cracking up. <laughs> it's like a true comedian. Do you end up becoming Jack's love interest in the end? In the end of this 12 episodes? I, I, think, yeah. I actually do not know where, what what is happening? They haven't they haven't told me yet. We're on we're on episodes nine and ten, out of twelve, and I still don't know what's happening to my character, and I still don't know what's happening in the end of the story. Do you prefer it that way? Is that better? I don't know if I prefer it, but I'm certainly used to it. That's kind of the name of the game with twenty four. You don't know if ever your character might be dying at any point in time. Um, uh, yeah, and you know what? I do love it like that because it kind of appeals to my. Mm -hmm. improv, spontaneous stand-up mm -hmm. side of me. Keeps you on edge, you know? <laughs> really all we're seeing is the cute little snippet at the park, and what you're not seeing is the kid who's followed by a group of strangers all day, which in my book is just not appropriate.